Imagine having the power to be able to research all of the internet, all the most updated blog articles, content outlets, and news outlets around your particular industry and create valuable content that resonates and has the best chance of going viral, but also has the best chance of connecting with your ideal client avatar. Well, in that video, I'm gonna show exactly how you can automate that process. Before we go any further, let me show exactly how it works. So to just demonstrate exactly how this works, I'm here inside make.com. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click run once. I'm just gonna show you this in action. So the first thing you can see is we've got Perplexity AI currently running in the background, doing all the research that we want to do. And in a minute, we're gonna go inside and show exactly how that works. We then got a Slack uh, message being triggered here, which is sending me that research that Perplexity AI has completed. We're then running it back through OpenAI to create the content that we wanna create, the reels, the scripts, and all that stuff. And hopefully in a second, it's gonna send that to a Google Doc where we can analyze those scripts as well. So what this has done is this has researched all of the trends around Facebook ads. I've inputted a whole bunch of articles that talk specifically about meta advertising because that's obviously what I talk about on this YouTube channel. And you can see it's come back to me with one, two, three, four, five, six current trends that it's found by analyzing those articles. What it's then gone and done is it's created individual scripts for each one of those and created a sort of 30 to 60 second Instagram reel, YouTube reel, or TikTok reel script that I can then use to create better content. And you could use this exact same make flow for all sorts of things, whether that be researching trends within your particular field and creating LinkedIn posts, or perhaps you want to use it to create newsletter articles you can send out to your list. Well, in this short YouTube video, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So the first thing you're going to need to do is come to make.com and you're going to go on to create yourself an account. Now you can get started with a free account. In fact, pretty much everything that I've created here is available to you within the make free account. Once you've done that, you're also going to need a perplexity account and perplexity is very similar to chat GPT. The biggest difference that I've noticed with perplexity is when you integrate it with something such as make via the API, it has the ability to actually read articles and sites, whereas it was quite difficult to do that with OpenAI's integration. And for perplexity, pro account that's around twenty dollars per month and then you're going to need some credits within your perplexity account but i've had five dollars in mine and it hasn't run out yet so very very inexpensive and then once you've done that you're going to want to come into make.com you're going to create a new scenario and you're going to want to start with the perplexity ai module and the model i've gone with is sonar and that's you know seems to be working extremely well for me i don't have a huge amount of knowledge around these individual models and which one's the best um, but you're more than welcome to do your own research there and in the context that i put into the content which is essentially the messages it, message it's sending to perplexity is I've just said the following. You are a personal research assistant who can identify current trends, new features and exciting opportunities from any blog or article. You will summarize the most recent blogs and provide further research on any topics found to provide data points. You will summarize the following URLs and I've given it the URLs. Now what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to wanna to find RSS feed URLs. Now what that essentially does is it just creates a feed. So it's much, much easier for perplexity to actually read this. And lots of these kind of blog sites have like blockers. So it, it can't actually read. And if you gave it a specific article, it could read it. But if you wanted to on its own, find the most recent articles, it will find those most recent articles by using the RSS feed. And the easiest way to do that is just to come to ChatGPT, find a blog that you like, such as John John Luma Digital, which I quite like, it's a Facebook ads blog. And you wanna come back to here and ask it for the RSS feed. Please provide the RSS URL for this website. Press enter. And you can obviously do that for multiple different sites. And then ChatGPT will just provide you with the RSS URL for that particular site. So this one comes back as just johnluma.com forward slash feed. Uh, but some of them will come back as something slightly more advanced, such as like marketing. AI Institute comes back as .com forward slash blog question mark format RSS. So just make sure that you do that and you get the actual RSS feed. So you can see here, I've added about, know, about eight different articles, eight, 10 different articles. I've got John Luma Digital, I've got Marketing AI Institute, I've got uh, Ladder IO, I've got Social Media Examiner, Ad Espresso, Client Boost, all sorts of different articles that I tend to read. I just plugged those in here. So I said, here are the RSS feed articles. I then asked it to please extract the latest three articles from each feed, open their URLs and summarize each article. Once you have done the following, I want you to do the following actions. Read through the latest blog post articles, find what you think are the best and most interesting trends. Summarize those trends into one to two sentences that will make help me to create better content for my channels. What I would also like to do is give this to me in a bullet point format with the most useful and actionable points from each trend you find. Then for each, I'd like you to provide a suggested YouTube video headline that may work to talk about that trend. Separate each different trend with a line and add a rocket or fire emoji at the start of each so I can easily separate them. And I've just set the user as, sorry, the role as user and that is the end of that module. Now, obviously you can add whatever um, prompt 
you want to add here. You can even go to ChatGPT and ask it to create you a prompt, right? You can do whatever you want. There's no rules. Really, what we're just trying to do here is to f first condense that information and put it in bullet point format um, because then we're going to use OpenAI to turn that into something else, whether that's scripts for uh, reels, whether that's newsletter articles, whatever you want it to be. I also add a Slack module in here, which uh, sends me a Slack message, which you can see I just showed you just a second ago. You can see 255, which was five minutes ago when I tested this. And you can see it's giving me these um, trends in, um, you know, sort of a bullet point format so I can see each trend and it kind of gives me something to, you know, something pops up on you know, the internet, I, you know, I can set this to a schedule for every single day and it will update me with the newest trend that has come out. Now, if we go back to this, the next module I've got is the open AI module. I'm using the create a chat completion method, which is the one you want to select. Now, obviously for this, you're going to need an open AI account and you're going to want to get your open AI API key, which is relatively easy to do. All you're going to want to do is come to open AI. You're going to want to uh, come to API keys within your OpenAI account and you want to click generate, create a new uh, secret key. Once you've got that secret key, you can come back into make and you can integrate your OpenAI account. This is easy as that. And you can see what I've done here. Now I've given this a pretty strong prompt, which is walking this chat uh, module through the exact style that I want these reels to be written in. So the way I've done that, I've chosen to use Poppy AI. Um, you absolutely do not need to use Poppy AI. You can just create this yourself. Uh, what I did was I pulled in a bunch of my videos, a bunch of other video contents and ideas and inspirations and stuff like that. So just some, some information around storytelling principles and things like this to give it a better idea of what I wanted. And then what I've done is I've asked it to give me a prompt and I've given it a couple of um, sort of responses and, and, and it's given me more. And it's created this um, kind of universal AI videos prompt and it's given walked through the kind of form uh, format I would like my reels to be written in and some of the styling that I'd like them to be written in as well as long along with an example um, of one of my reels that I did. So then if we go back to make, all I did was I, you know, I, I told it firstly, please take the following trends and I've, I've selected the trends from the perplexity AI output, which is if I click here, you want to go to your perplexity AI output choices and then message. And then you want to click message content. You can see, you can actually see a little snippet of what that content looks like. If you hover over it or if you click there, it will show you that that's the right one and that's the content that you want to choose. So what this is doing is it's taking the output from this perplexity AI call, popping all of that context into this message to open AI. So all of those trends that came out of there is now going to be able to read all those trends and then sub, you know, to take this information and then write write those scripts. So you can see here I've asked to do a hook, sort of zero to 10 second hook, then a problem slash context and solution process, results application and a call to action. And um, it's also giving my writing style and everything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to first click save and uh, we are going to run this in a second just to check that that is working. So I just click run once. Let's just let that run and just double check that that is working. Okay, so if we click on this perplexity, we can see that we've had bundle one output. Here we go. So we've got the input here. We've got the output. If we go to choices, click the plus one icon, click on the message, uh, click on the content, and we can see that it has outputted all of this content around the current trends that it has found based on those articles, which is working perfectly. If we go to the Slack module, we, we can actually just go into Slack and see if it's sent me the message, uh, which it has down here, and it's come through at, that's come through at 55. This one's come through at 305. Yep, so that's the right message. Uh, so it's found a bunch of trends and it's sent me those in a message. So how AI is revolutionizing digital marketing, trends to watch in 2025, the future of social commerce, why long form content matters, crafting seamless omnichannel experiences, the role of first party data. What we kind of want open AI to do is to go and actually individually research those trends and then produce me a script or a newsletter that I can then use in my content. So you can see it's writing the Google Doc right now. And I'll show you how we integrated that Google Doc module in just a second. So let's let that finish. Okay, that looks like it's done. Let's go to our Google Doc and we can see if we scroll down. There we go. It's one from earlier. And what it's going to do is just going to it's just going to add on more information every single time it does this. But we can see here, for example, social commerce for long form content. Do you get tired of the same old 30 second product clips? Last week while exploring social media trends, I was have long form content in social commerce. Right? It's not really my area of expertise. So I might want to give this more kind of um, say I want it to be more focused around local advertising or something like that. We have a look at some of the other ones. AI integration and generative AI. Ever notice how some ads just get you? Last week I'm sitting at my desk when I realized AI is not just a feature, it's now in digital marketing. Here's the problem. Most marketers use generic content. So it's given me pretty good scripts. And obviously with a little bit of kind of like playing around with this, you could get this to work perfectly well. Now, if just for argument's sake, I'm going to get rid of all of this content. I'm also going to go into Slack and I'm going to just delete uh, the last two meshes so we can run this one more time at the end just to see exactly how this works. So we go back to this assistance. We've got the perplexity AI 
uh, module set up here. We've got the Slack module integrated. So what that's doing is I've selected, uh, integrated my Slack account, which is super easy. All you have to do is click on connect Slack and then log in and it will connect it. Um, I've selected private channel and I've created the channel called trends, which is this channel here. So it's going to send a message to that channel. Um, I've then updated the text format here to choices, message content. So if you come down here, you want to come to uh, choices, message, and then you want to click content and you can see some of the text that it's pulled out of that as well. And then if we come to through to open AI, you, we've already gone through this setup, super easy to do. Uh, and the, the method I'm going for is chat GPT for turbo. And then if we go to the last one, which is a Google docs, again, all you need to do is log into your Google docs account, um, select document by drop down. Also send this to yourself in an email, or you could even just send this in a separate Slack message in a different uh, Slack channel, or you could create a notion board or any, what, any of the, any, any way you want to send this content, you could send it. And then the appended text I've got here is the output of this open AI, which is going to be in here. I'm going to go to open AI. You're going to want to go to usage. Um, you're going to want to go to, uh, so you know, you're not you're going to want to choices. You want to go to message and you want to go to message content here. And that's going to give you the content, um, that of the output of the open AI. And so what we're going to do now we've deleted all that, we're going to run this just one more time to see this in action. And let's come back in just a second. Once it's, um, research those, um, blogs and it's created the select message. It's sent that information to open AI, which is doing now. It's then going to, um, write those scripts and it's going to send those scripts to Google docs. And there are a bunch of use cases that you could do to utilize this. It might be using it to write client ads. You might want to use it to create newsletter articles. You might want to use it to create long form YouTube videos. There's so many ways that you can do this. And I want you to not think too much about the specifics of what I'm building, but more so this structure for a make flow that you can leverage. And that's allowing you to research th stuff that's being posted on the internet in your sleep and have that be pulled through and condensed in a way that's easy for you to understand. I've even seen instances of people doing a similar thing um, and they're actually just having it sent to them as a email or as a WhatsApp so they can actually see that information and they get notified immediately. So what I've actually just done quickly, I've been kind of working on this in the background. I wanted this to only summarize content if it's related to paid advertising. So you can see here what I've done is I've added in. However, I only want meta ads or AI when it relates to marketing content as that's what I talk about. And I also put here, please extract the latest three articles. So what I'm gonna say instead of that is please extract uh, the most recent articles from each feed. Because what I don't want it to do is if there's articles that were posted a couple of weeks ago or that aren't the last three that's related to paid ads content, I still wanted to summarize that. So let's go click, click save. And we're gonna run this once more and just see what it outputs. Okay, so it's outputted the first perplexity AI summary with the actual trends. So let's go to Slack and have a look. So we've got now we've got trends. The first one is AI marketing and content creation. Again, that's a trend that we do want to talk about because that's uh, related to what I do. Meta's latest ad trends. Again, you know it's talking about here. Meta is focusing on AI-driven ad tools such as Advantage Plus campaigns, which improve conversion risk and revenue. Uh, the Adromeda infrastructure enhances ad delivery and relevance. Again, that is something that we'd probably want to talk about. We want to do more research about that and the Advantage Plus tools. But if I made a video about that, it'd probably do well seeing as it's trending. Uh, we've got AI-powered content marketing tools. Um, and it's given story, story Chief, Market Muse. And it's talking about that, which is quite cool. So again, I could create content around that. Hyper-personalization in marketing. It's talking about hyper-personalized ads becoming more prevalent offering real-time adjustment data on used. Again, that's very, very, very relevant to what I talk about. And the last one is come up with it's AI tools like brand watch and glimpse are used for social media analysis and trend identification respectively. Again, very, very useful. So now we've adjusted that. So it's very specific to what I actually want. Let's go and see if it's created the scripts it has. So we've got the first one, AI in marketing and content creation. Ever wondered how some brands create content that feels like it's speaking directly to you? Last week, I'm sitting with Destiny. It's me, AI is a secret source. Now, this might need some adjustments. So what we can actually do is we can run this through, even in here, we can run these actual scripts through like a kind of another open AI agent to kind of clean it up if you wanted to. Um, but I'm quite happy with that. And this is quite interesting to see. Meta's, Meta's latest ad trends. This one's talking about right now, most marks are sitting and forgetting them, but if you've got, let me break it down. First, I implement my advantage plus or just my bidding. Second, I experiment with AI enhanced creative by dynamic uh, presentation results. Okay, awesome. Okay, so this, is, it, this isn't perfect, but you can see with a little bit of tweaking, this could be a, a, you know really, really useful. So now we've created this and it's working extremely well for us. The last thing we want to do is set this on a schedule. Now, if you click on the clock button next to the first module, which is the trigger module, you can run this scenario on days of the week. Now you can run this every single day of the week if you wanted to and run it at the same time every single day and click save. And what that's gonna do is you don't have to come in here and click run once. It's gonna run every day and send me a message and a script for each of the following trends. So I now know how long I have to think about what I'm gonna create content over. I can keep adding more and more articles to this module as often as I want to. And I've got content ideas every single day 
and those content ideas are update, up, up to date with the latest trend data. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, drop a like, and, and that's gonna tell YouTube that you like this kind of content. I'm planning on producing a lot more of these videos that are small use cases of things that I'm building inside of my local ads accelerator. Now my local ads accelerator is a community for advertisers, media buyers, and agency owners that work within the local ads space. So that's working with physical brick and mortar clients. And we're really focused around utilizing automation tools and AI to help better leverage yourself so you can get better results to your clients, earn more money and keep your margins higher. So if you're ready to scale your agency, I'll leave a link down below where you can schedule a call directly with myself. I do a few calls per week if you're interested in joining. Otherwise, I appreciate you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.